Hey guys, I'm Levi and I'm from Shred Shop. And these, uh, we're about to review the Dear George series. It's been coined that by Blind Skateboards. This is one of them and that's also some of them. So, basically this series, uh, what's cool about it is it is a series that came out in the late 80s, early 90s. It's a throwback. It is like an OG, super iconic series of boards that a lot of people would be able to see and know, okay, what that era was like. They come in two different styles, which is cool. They come in heat pressed graphics, which is kind of what all boards are, but they also come in some original silk screen style graphics, which is how they used to do boards. And on those ones, you can feel the texture on it. So again, if you really, if you care about, okay, I want that original OG style, you probably want to try something more of the silk screen. This, these graphics from the late 80s, what's cool about it is at that time, Vision and Palo Peralta were the two main dominating board brands. So Mark Gonzalez and Steve Grocco, they came together and they started a company called Blind. The reason they called it Blind was it was a direct dig at Vision Streetwear, which is the board brand at the time, because they just hated it. And then that's how these kind of birthed from there and the brand birthed from there, which is really cool. So at that time, George Powell, the guy who owned Palo Peralta, he ran an ad that went like everywhere, basically hating on a bunch of smaller companies. And so they blind went and they went and they did a series that was a direct, not a rip off, but making fun of a lot of the Palo Peralta uh, boards. So you'll see these are super similar to some of the Palo Peralta ones that you've seen, um, but they are just kind of like their joke making fun of it, which is kind of funny. So each individual graphic in this series is directly ripping off a Palo Peralta board which is really funny and we'll kind of get into eat why each one, uh, how they're similar and how they're knockoffs. So the first one is the Mark Gonzalez board and it's ripping off or making fun of the Ray Rodriguez board, which on that one, if you check our blog, link below, it's gonna show you the two graphics side by side. Um, but that one is a skull with a sword holding onto it. And this one is a skull eating a banana. Just again, like making it so similar, but making it goofy enough that just kind of spits in the face of Powell. The next one is the Jason Lee board. And as you can see, like most everyone, hopefully everyone in skateboarding has seen the Tony Hawk graphic, the OG one that's like this. And this one's a Jason Lee one. And instead of a hawk skull, it's a dodo bird skull. And if you don't know anything about dodo birds, they're basically these birds that were too dumb to fly. And so they went extinct. And so it basically was just making fun of the dodos at Powell. So the third one here is Rudy Johnson. And it's making fun of the Palo Peralta board that is a Viking skull. Again, those are all kind of serious, iconic graphics. This one's a jock skull, which if any of you guys out there actually skate, you know that skateboarders make fun of jocks the same way they make fun of us. So that's just a direct dig at Palo Peralta again. So at that time in the 80s, remember, like I said, uh, Vision and Powell were the two biggest brands. Powell was conquering. They were a massive brand. The cool thing about this series is they say that this series was the demise. It started the demise of Powell. And so basically, if you imagine what it'd be like at a skate park riding, you know, person A is riding a hawk board, the other person's riding a Jason Lee board with a dodo, you know the, the dude with the hawk board is going to get ripped on. And so the sales, if you just walk, if you look at them around that timeline, Blind and World Industries, which were sister companies, they started to skyrocket and Powell and Peralta started to just dive and dive and dive. And so that's why we know today uh, blind is obviously even still way bigger. So, okay guys, so make sure you guys hit our blog, the link below, and it's going to go more in depth, a lot more details showing you the comparisons of the two boards between Palo and Peralta and blind. And basically that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Levi. This is Shred Shop. If you're buying these boards, hit up our website and you're going to find what you're looking for. Peace.